so welcome back to another video my fellow developers and in this video we'll be taking a look at hacktoberfest and how can you contribute to open source the real contribution that you should make so let's get started the first thing is the hacktoberfest what is hacktoberfest let me just open up the website very first of all so you can go to this website hacktoberfest.digitalocean.com it is an event organized by DigitalOcean, which is a company uh, where if you contribute to open source if you contribute to four open source repositories on github you will get this kind of t-shirt and uh, it's your preference which one do you want to get so this is an event that's uh, I mean that's very useful but you just have to contribute to repositories right so some people what they do is they go to the repository they uh, contribute to it but just a they they just add a word or something like that so that's actually a spam contribution that won't be counted so the very first step is to go to github and yeah before you go to github also you can just click on start hacking and then you can just sign up for sign up with github okay so very first of all I can just search github for hacktoberfest which is the first step that you need to do in order to uh, contribute to it so you can just go to github and search for hacktoberfest and go to topics where uh, and then go to this the first topic which is hacktoberfest itself so any repository which will have the hacktoberfest topic on that repository only you can contribute to I mean that contribution only will be counted so now you can find a bunch of repositories here so language all you can select your own language I selected JavaScript which is the one I work with so 30 seconds of code where you have snippets you can contribute to material UI there are some issues that you can fix with a pull request so we will be working with a simple repository I mean I mean it's not simple it's complicated but it's really simple let's let me just uh, go to that repository so here is this repository where I mean it's simple but yet you can contribute to it and a meaningful contribution you should not contribute some kind of uh, like if you say for example read uh, github readme generator and then you add something after that that is not called a contribution that is just spam okay <clears throat> so this is the repository where uh, he has actually made a github profile readme generator which you can just click here and go to there and this is built with Vue.js now github profile readme generator where if you don't know github you can just add something to your github profile now I can just change anything I want so I I am a student so something like that right now I thought I can contribute to this repository because I know the basics of Vue.js so now what I recommend you do is just go to this website or anyone or any one of these Hacktoberfest topics that you like and then think okay what I can add to it or what should be added to it so you can just add things and then you can also fix some errors that can be in the console just control shift I go to the console and then if you get any errors just fix those and then make a pull request so let's let's go over how to do that the first thing is you have to fork this repository because forking means you are making your own version of this repository so it will be available on your profile then so I have already forked it let me just show it to you okay then after forking this repository what you can do is I mean this is your own version of this repository okay you are just you're just forked it okay so it's kind of a duplicate so now what you can do is you can clone this repository on your machine or you can make changes inside of github itself or you can use the github code spaces if you don't know what are code spaces you can watch my video I'll link it up in the cards and the description below so uh, you can just clone it up like you can just use the HTTPS or SSH or the github CLI which has just released yet and so you can just clone it uh, that's a basic thing that you can do just clone it just run this command in your terminal 
okay after cloning this repository what you can do is open it in your development environment you can make changes you can then push the changes and that's what you can do okay so those changes will be pushed right over here on your repository not the other person's repository so i actually made some changes let me just show it to you so here is the thing what i have done is i have added something like if you go to so the the file system is uh, the file system of this repository is uh, like this so it's built in Vue.js so what I have done is I have added the functionality of the icons so if you take a look at the original one which is this one where you have github dev to facebook something like that so what I have done is I have added icons before the label so uh, like a github icon before the github and a dev2 icon before the dev2 let me just show it to you if i just open it up with live server that will just fire it up so if i go to social as you can see i have these icons so that's what i have added and this thing i have added now i can make the contribution so what i can do is i can just push these changes over to my repository within visual studio code i can do that actually so i can just commit all of these changes and then i can just push them to my repository maybe in the future i'll make a video on how can you integrate git in or github inside of visual studio code and then work with it but for now let's just go with the flow once i have pushed these changes i can just refresh the uh, refresh my page and then you can see i get my commit message okay and now it also says this branch is one commit ahead of the other branch or the other repository so what i can do is i can just make a pull request which where you can see the the changes reflected right so what changes i have done actually and i can just uh, create a pull request and then the title this is the title and then i can leave a comment like let's say so we can use markdown in this uh, in this description so that's what i have done and then finally you can just click the create pull request button now this pull request will go to the repository and then you can simply and easily wait that the person out there will accept this pull request, pull request and merge these changes and once they merge you can just go to the uh, digital ocean or hacktober fest digitalocean.com slash profile where you can just go to your own profile and then you can see how many pull requests did you make which ones are accepted which ones are uh, are not acceptable which ones like you can just take a look at in review so these are in review with with this icon so like the clock icon so these are still in review and then this icon actually means that this is in ineligible repository so it does it did not have the uh, the topic of hacktoberfest so that's why this is not a i mean this will not be accepted and this is still pending which we just made and the time by how much they will be reviewed okay so you can just go to your, you can just see your progress right here so that's it for this video guys i hope you like it you understood how to make a pull request you learned how to make a meaningful pull request where just many people show you how can you add something something smaller and then that's just a pull request okay that's not a pull request that's a spam the open source uh, maintainers are actually feeling very bad about it that we get spam pull requests that's for this video guys i hope you like it if you like it give it a like comment down below if you have any pull requests or i mean how many have you contributed to and finally thanks for watching